Good evening everyone, it's Angel and Bonnet here. Um, I hope you've all had a lovely day today. So, yesterday I made a little video to let you all know of um, a few changes. So, we won't be reading stories to you um, from books, but we will be reading stories to you that I have um, written. So I've taken some time out to write a few stories for you all. Um, I've written a couple of different ones, a couple of short stories, and at the moment I'm working on a long story. So tonight I'm going to read to you what I've written so far of the long story. Okay, so this story is called The Amazing Bird. It's about an amazing story about one brave little bird and its wonderful adventures as it takes a journey all around the world. As it travels all around the world to try and find its mummy and daddy. Now it's doing something very brave and very different, isn't it? It's travelling all around the world to try and find its mummy and daddy that it lost. But maybe it didn't lose his mummy and daddy. We're not sure. So we're going to have to listen to the story and find out what really happened. Okay? Alright. Where do I begin? Well, all the greatest stories ever told all start with once upon a time. Shall we start there? Okay, here goes. Once upon a time, there was a little bird who lived in a very tall tree in the middle of a big green forest. The birds, this little bird, lived with its mummy bird and its daddy bird, but had no birdie brother or sisters. Have you got brothers and sisters? Or is it just you? Are you just like my little friend, the little bird? But that's okay, because we can still have lots of fun, even though we haven't got brothers and sisters, have, can't we? Because we've got amazing imaginations, haven't we? The bird didn't mind, though. As always, it thought up wonderful stories and adventures of the world around it. One morning, the little birdie woke up. Stretching its little feathery wings, shaking its tiny head and letting out a tiny yawn from its little birdie beak. Little bird blinked its eyes and looked around. Mummy? Daddy? chirped the little bird, but no answer. Where could they be? Oh dear. The little bird wondered and wondered. Using its little legs, the tiny bird hopped along its warm, cosy nest, stepped on the side of it and took a leap and flew. <gasps> Fluttering with all its might and peeked around, looking as far as it could see between all the bright green thick branches, but the little birdie couldn't find its parents anywhere. Oh no, where have they gone? The little bird began to feel worried, but refused to give up, as this wasn't like its birdie mum and dad to leave, especially without saying goodbye. Something just wasn't right. Little birdie quickly flew back to its nest, way up high, in the tall green tree. It had a good plan. The little birdie decided to pack a bag filled with all the important things it would need for an adventure. Oh, and not to forget its little tiny birdie teddy for night time, just to keep it safe. So the little birdie put its tiny backpack on and set off and flew. 
It flew away, swooping through the tall, tall trees, and then up, up into the beautiful blue sunny skies, with not a cloud in sight. The bird kept flying up above the sea of gorgeously green trees. It could smell the fresh leaves blowing in the air. Hmm, how lovely, thought the little birdie as it smiled to itself, taking a nice deep breath. Ah, <sighs> ready to go on a very big adventure. As the little birdie kept flying, he began to slow down, hovering over a river. As the bird looked down, it noticed how lovely the water looked as it gently flowed through the forest, gently bending and winding through the flower-filled forest. The little bird flew lower, so close that he could see a school of fishes swimming fast splashing and sploshing in the shiny water, sending dazzling droplets of rainbow water in the air. The fishes flew so high out of the water, almost 100 shades of colours could be seen from way up high. Wow, does that sound amazing? Could you imagine all the beautiful colours? What colours do you think they are? Do you think maybe blue? and green and yellow and purple maybe red wow how beautiful do you think that would be dazzling colors lovely hmm right well that is the end of that little bit of the story so hopefully tomorrow we can find out what happened to our friend the little birdie Mm, and what other adventures he got up to, and what other animals that he saw. Do you think that would be good? Lovely. Right, I, okay, well, I will see you later. And I hope that you have a lovely sleep, and that we will see you tomorrow for more adventures of the little bird. Bye, everybody. Good night.